I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on 2D geometry. We have discussed translations, reflections, rotations. And now, in this particular video, we are going to discuss glide reflection. If you really want to learn from me, you can always send me an email on the address given here, and then we can have one-on-one -on -one classes. Now, what is glide reflection? Well, glide and reflection, the two words, give us two combinations of transformations. And that is what it is. So glide reflection is symmetric operation in two-dimensional geometry that involves combination of two transformations, namely glide or translation along a line. And then second is reflection over the same line. So this is kind of important. The translation is along a line and the reflection is on the same line, correct? Now, generally, when we say glide reflection, then what do we mean? We mean first reflection over the line and then translation along the same line, right? That is what we generally mean. However, in some books and in some countries, we observe that glide reflection is glide means translation and reflection is after that. So sometimes the operation is reversed and they still call it glide reflection. Well, both results into the same thing, right? So both are the same thing. So it could work out. But let us be very specific about it. When we say glide reflection, in that case, if we begin from an object here, we'll first reflect the object, correct? So as shown here, we'll first reflect the object and then we are going to translate it, correct? So these are the two operations which we'll normally perform. Now we'll take up examples where the reflection will be over a horizontal line, a vertical line, and a diagonal. So that will cover most of the types of examples in which you might be interested. So let's take up with reflection on the x-axis. So the question for you here is example one. Glide reflection, we'll consider the x-axis in this particular case. The coordinates of the vertices of a triangle ABC are A, 4, 2, B is 5, 4, C, 6, 3. Graph and state the coordinates of triangle ABC, the image triangle, a double dash, B double dash, C double dash. Since there are two transformations involved here, we have used this convention of, that is the image of the triangle ABC after reflection over the X axis and then translation minus six zero means six left and not vertically, correct? So that is what it is. So if you just move left, you're moving along the x-axis. So that makes uh, the definition of glide reflection absolutely clear, right? So here is the diagram which illustrates the whole process. Let's begin with the triangle ABC, which is shown here as 4, 2, 5, 4, and 6, 3, right? So uh, you can label this as uh, this point being A and B being and C, right? So that is the triangle to begin with. So first, we are reflecting this triangle on the x-axis, right? That is the first process. So this is the x-axis on which we are going to reflect this, right? So when you reflect this, then that is the operation. And during the reflection, what happens? Well, the x value remains same, right? If I have a point here, x, y, then if I'm reflecting it, in that case, the transformation is very clear. The x, y values will now get changed to x remaining same, however, y becomes negative y. So I'm showing this step of reflection here in the table. So the transformation will be that the x, y point will become x minus y, right? So the table here shows us all these steps and the graph is shown on the right hand side right you can link them both so we'll begin with the triangle abc where the coordinates are 
a b and c of 4 2 5 4 and 60 respectively as shown in the graph also now when you reflect then you have to keep the x value same and the y value will be negative of the original value right so what you notice here is that the y value should become negative of the previous y value that is reflection on the x-axis and that's what happens whenever you reflect the point about the x-axis now the second operation here is translation we need to translate six units left right so that is the translation six units left since you want to move left the x values will be taken away by six right so x minus six is going to be the new coordinate value so in every operation what we now do is from the x values we take away six four minus six is minus two five minus six is minus one six minus six is zero so that gives us the coordinates of our final position which is right there and the coordinates are written right here so now the triangle is translated after the reflection and the whole operation is called glide reflection right so that is what the glide reflection is and the final coordinate points are minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 minus 4 0 minus 3 of image of a b and c is that clear to you right so we did the reflection on the x-axis now here is another very interesting case we are still reflecting the graph vertically but this time we are going to reflect it on the line which is y equals to 1 the question now is example 2 we are going to glide reflection of a triangle on the horizontal line which is y equals to 1 the question is the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle ABC are A, 4, 2, 5, 4, and 6, 3. So the same three coordinates we have taken. Graph and state the coordinates of triangle A double dash, B double dash, C double dash. The image of ABC after reflection on Y equals to 1, right? Not the X axis, not Y equals to 0. Y equals to 1. And then translate six units left is that clear to you right now when you rotate uh, when you reflect on the horizontal axis which is y equals to one then what is going to be the image point let's look into that so when you reflect on y equals to one in that case the image point will be x value will remain same however the y value will be two minus y Let's try to understand this. Let's say we have a y value here and this point is y equals to 1. So if I have a y value, then how far away are we from the axis y equals to 1, the horizontal line? We are y minus 1 unit away, right? So we are above y minus 1 unit, correct? So we will also go y minus 1 unit down do you see that so the change in y will basically be twice this right so the y values will be changing by y minus 1 times 2 you get the idea and therefore the the net result will be the y value changes to 2 minus y correct so that is what it is so the point which was let us say some y value here so y minus one above right so that is and then it goes y minus down below after the reflection on y equals to one correct and therefore the net change will be two and this is from the y value right so so from the y value it changes to two times this correct so we'll be having y minus two times y minus 1 and that gives you y minus 2y plus 2 or you can rearrange and write this as 2 minus y you get the idea so that is how we get the net y value as 2 minus y as mentioned here so i hope the concept is clear now if it was y equals to k it will be 2k minus y perfect okay so i hope that helps now 
looking into this, we can now change the coordinate points. So all the y values now will be taken away from 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0, 2 minus 4 is minus 2, 2 minus 3 is minus 1. We finally get the coordinate points of the image after reflection on the line y equals to 1. Is that clear to you? The second step is very simple. We just have to now translate 6 units left. That means the x values will now be subtracted by minus 6. And then you get your final points. So once you do that, the x values change from 4 to minus 2, from 5 to minus 1, and from 6 to 0. Since what we did was we took away 6 from x since we want to translate left by 6 units. Clear? And therefore, we get our image at a, where a double dash is just minus 2, 0, b is minus 1, minus 2, and the image of c is 0, minus 1, as shown right here. Right? So that is the final image. So I'd like you to actually go through it once again and try to understand how we got this image, especially this part here is very critical to understand. Now, let's take up the next example in which we are going to reflect it on the vertical axis, x equals to 0. So in example 3, we'll see the glide reflection along y-axis. The question now is, the coordinates of the vertices of a triangle ABC are a is 2 minus 1, b is 1, 1, and c is minus 3, 0. All right. So these are the three coordinate points given to us of the given triangle. Now, in this particular case, graph and state the coordinates of triangle after two reflections, which is glide reflection, the image of ABC after reflection over y equals to x, and then translation 0, 3. That means moving it three units up. So what we have here is we'll first reflect it on the y-axis, and then we are going to translate three units up. So that is how we are going to do it. So let's begin by stating the coordinate points of the given triangle ABC. So the triangle ABC is shown here. Now we'll begin from here. Reflect this on the y-axis. When you reflect on the y-axis, then what happens? The y-coordinates remain same, but the x value becomes negative, right? So the x, y changes to minus x, y. So in the first step, we made the negative values for x to get the image after reflection. Now to glide, we'll translate it three units up. And that is the second step. And three units up really means what? So this is three units up. So basically it is 0, 3, right? So we are going to move. 3 units up means the y values will be added by 3. So when you add 3 to y values, what do you get? The final image points as shown here. Minus 3 plus minus 1 plus 3 is 2, 1 plus 3 is 4, and 0 plus 3 is 3. So we get our final points, which I mentioned here, and the, the graph of the figure after glide reflection over the y-axis is shown in the graph. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Correct? Now let's take up the last example. And in this example, we'll talk about reflection along a diagonal. So what you see over here is a diagonal. We are going to reflect the triangle over the diagonal and then translate. Right? So we will start from the red color triangle reflected over the line which is y equals to x and then translate it up by three units right so the translation will be three 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 right and three up it has to be along the diagonal then only it qualifies for glide reflection you get my idea so all the examples which you have taken here are based on glide reflection okay now, again, the coordinates of the vertices of triangle ABC are given to us as minus 4, minus 2, B is minus 3, 0, and C is minus 2, minus 1, the red triangle shown here. 
graph and state the coordinates of the triangle A double dash, B double dash, C double dash, the image of triangle ABC after reflection over the line Y equals to X and the translation 3, 3. Got it? So we'll again begin by writing down the coordinate points of the triangle ABC, which are given to us. Now, when you reflect it on the line, which is y equals to x, in that case, what happens? Well, as you know, the x and y values interchange, right? So on the reflection, x and y values interchange. So important thing is, on this reflection, what happens? Swap x and y, correct? Swap x and y to get your coordinate points. And that is what we have mentioned here. So the value, which was minus 4, minus 2, now becomes minus 2, minus 4. The value, which was minus 3, 0, is 0, minus 3. And the one, which was minus 2, minus 1, can be written as C dash, which is minus 1, minus 2. So that gives you the, the graph shown here in blue. So that is after reflection. And now what we need to do is to translate it three units right and three units up. That is the translation along the diagonal y equals to x. That means we are going to add three to both x and y values. Once you do this, you get the coordinate points of the final triangle, which is shown right there. Perfect. So that is how we do it. We get the coordinates as a double dash as 1 minus 1, b double dash as 3, 0, and c double dash as 2, 1. So that becomes the final result. So I hope with this you understand clearly how do we perform glide reflection. So important thing here is that in glide reflection, we are doing two operations. One is reflection. over a line right and the second operation is let me say one and two is translation along the same line that is very important right so we have taken three cases to make it a very general and useful description i hope you understand and appreciate it Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.